Well, it's beta time again, and this time this is the Pop OS 2404 beta. Yeah, basing it on a two year old LTS. Fair enough, but they are showcasing their Cosmic desktop. This is the Cosmic desktop. It's been pretty ropey, apparently, according to various other reviewers in previous, like Alphas, right up to Alpha 7, I think it was. This is the first beta. And quite honestly, it seems to be all right. It seems to be okay. As I say, it's based on Ubuntu 2404, um, which means it's going to have a good couple of years of updates still to come. A couple of three years, yeah. Three years, maybe, which is all right. How many people keep the distro on for that long, anyway? So, what do we got? This is the desktop. As you see, we've got a shortcut to the workspaces, which are there, and it shows you what you've got open. And there's my OBS. This is on a crappy little laptop, by the way, so it's not going to be too sports car-ish. But you can change workspaces and drag things across, I believe. Try, drag this to the second workspace. Yeah, and then it opens up the third. Fantastic. Applications. You can search the apps from here. Turn that off again by clicking, or you can come down here, and that does the same thing. And it's set up as uh, library home is what it opens to, which basically shows freshly installed things and most often used things. We'll get to this in a minute. As you see, we've got Cosmic Files, Cosmic Media Player, Cosmic Settings, Cosmic Store, Cosmic Time and R, Cosmic Text Editor, and Firefox. <laughs> no Cosmic Browser. Uh, under Office, you've got the LibreOffice with Math, Impress, Draw, Calc, uh, Writer. No Base. People hate Base, don't they? Why do they hate Base? But yeah, they put Thunderbird on. Who uses an offline email client anymore? You've got a document viewer and an image viewer, and a document scanner, and of course the LibreOffice base and the system, disk usage analyzer, your IBUS preferences, your language support, Popsicle USB flasher, always handy, nice, printer setup, repo man for I suppose sorting out your repositories, you've got your system monitor, I'm not going to open up that now because obviously I'm recording and it will give a false um, system usage report because it's taking into account that I'm recording. I have done a screenshot when I wasn't and that is this. So as you see it's not too bad for a GNOME system on ropey hardware. It's not too bad. So this is system. Under utilities, advanced network configuring, your cosmic screenshot which is how I took that photo. You've got your character map, Good old GNOME disk utility, love that so much. File roller for your archived files and for archiving files. Fonts, for looking at your fonts. Passwords and keys, text info. You can tell me what that is? Nope, we're gonna open it. Uh, right, yeah. Not sure I know what that is actually. I've been using <laughs> I've been using Linux since 2008 and I'm a user not a developer so I've never done it with Vim either which is a text editor with um, markup and various things it's absolutely swarmed by by most developers I believe so that's what you get with it you don't get no games at least I don't think you get any games it's certainly not showing any so let's go to the library home and let's open the cosmic store and have a little look at that does it need to populate? Let's go full screen. Okay. So yeah, it's a bit like just the GNOME store. I'm going to quickly flash up another screenshot showing you that we've got no flat packs, but the capability to run them, I believe. We've got no snaps, and we haven't even got the snap framework installed either. So that's two things for you um, container app types out there. Yes, yeah, so this is the store, it's pretty much the same. Let's just let's, uh, select that and yeah. 
it's, it's literally GNOME software. As you see, this is default into FlatHub. Hmm. Let's search for MPV. Is it MPV? Yeah, so look, you see you've got two instances of it. This one, which is from the system ones. So this is the deb. So we've got a back button. And this one, which is from FlatHub. Keep an eye on this. This area here will tell you where you're getting it from. If you don't want flat packs, keep your eye on that. If it says system, you're in you you know, you're well away. Okay, let's shut this down. So there's no little drop down menu where you can choose flat hub or repositories. So let's have a little look at the desktop. This is it. As you see, we've got the workspace, it's the applications, time and date with the calendar when you click it. You've got your language preferences, English, UK, GB, and your keyboard settings from there as well. You've got opened apps here. What is that? That's not showing anything. Maybe that's just a spare space. This one, what's this? Yeah, this is for your accessibility stuff. Screen reader, magnify and invert colors and high contrast, nice. Workspaces, or is this tiling? Okay, you can switch from floating to tiled here. Um, navigate your windows with super arrows, etc. Active hint. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with this because I like it how it is right now. Here's your volume control, click it, you get the controls for your mic, speakers, choose your sources, show media controls on panel and sound settings straight away there. Here's your Bluetooth, lets you know if it's on or not. And nearby devices and paired devices, etc. There's your networking with my Wi Fi and everything. Battery indicator, notifications, I would imagine. Yep, no notifications. And you can turn Do Not Disturb on from here. The power button, please do not instantly switch it off. No, so you get the hibernate, restart, and shut down. Or you could log out or go to your lock screen from there. Cool. Right, now I'm going to go to settings because I want to show you. Oh, just quickly, wallpapers. Uh, I think this is the default one, but I don't particularly like it. I prefer this one and obviously change wallpaper with the right click on the desktop. So, yeah. Oh, and we're in settings. That's fantastic. So, um, I'm going to choose this one because I prefer it. Don't you? Now then, this, on a small screen like this, this is 1366768, so it's a tiny little screen on a crappy little laptop. And this is too big, because if you want to start tiling things as you can, like the quarters, halves, it only goes up to that. Um, only goes up to this bottom panel, so let's go to where is it desktop maybe it's here no it's not here let's go back to desktop okay panel dock here we go so you can turn it on or off from here boom it's gone totally now does that affect the quartering if you want a core screen yeah it does so that's cool gives you a whole screen back but I kind of like it there so I'm going to keep it on, but I'm going to set it to auto hide. Now when that's set, do I have to click apply? Or does it just knock out the way? Ah, it knocks out the way when you go near it. Okay, that's cool. And then again, you get the full quartering of the screens for your apps. So that's nice. So it gives you your room back. Now I like where it is. Um, all displays, I've only got one. Gap between dock and screen edges, well, whatever. Extend dock to screen edges. Yeah, it looks a bit like. Deep in, there we go. Appearance, match desktop. Now here you can change your size of it anyway, because it looks too big on this small of a screen. So I'm gonna drop it down to size. Don't worry about it disappearing. So that's a little bit better. And you can make it transparent. So I've done that, and that looks all right. And then you can configure the applets here. Launch button, workspaces button, blah, 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 blah. App trays, you can add an applet. 
minimize windows and everything so that's cool um, yeah let's let's just go to um, system about and then just show you what we've got on here let's go full screen now so as you see it's pop OS it is the beta version I've only got apparently 3.64 gig of RAM tiny little hard drive it's an NVMe um, 64 gig tiny uh, we're using UHD graphics and it's a Celeron N4120 CPU <coughs> looks like dual core by that and um, so on and so on operating system pop os 2404 lts with the cosmic desktop environment and it's on wayland i presume that is not something you can change i will do an overlay after i've finished recording the video and you've probably just seen it yeah so that's it this is a quick quick little look at pop os 2404 i think it seems all right it works works okay Let's get the text editor up, stick that one side, and get the system setups and stick them that side. So it works all right. It does the tiling all right. I, it doesn't seem clunky to me. Um, a lot of the reports said it was clunky and buggy and crashes a lot. No, it's absolutely fine. I'm not going to keep it on because it's beta. I'm not too sure. They've been working on it a very long time. They've had a lot of hiccups, but right now it seems to be in a good place. So thank you very much for watching. That was Pop OS 2404 Beta. And honestly, it looks all right to me. It looks fine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.